Hey everybody, Cardboard Jesus with you. Welcome. It's time to do the uh, Donruss Optic Basketball 2017-18 Fast Break 5 Box number 3. Coming this way, I got my 5 boxes here. Let's make her happen. I'm tired, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm tired AF. I don't even care about the mess. I will clean it up tomorrow. Stefan, here we go. Optic. Fast break number three. Very exciting. You got all those, uh, those swirly, shiny cards for uh, oh, damn, Stefan. See, I don't, I. I don't have I don't have any like control over that. I don't know what it is or how it even goes. See that see that makes me just want to stop shipping international altogether. Because I don't I don't want you to get into something, get all excited that you're gonna hit some awesomeness, and then get a forty two dollars charge for shipping. Like that's I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, the only thing I can do is get you like a one-on-one -on -one autograph of whoever, whoever you're looking for, and them not them not know the value of it. Because I, I think it's based like on what you paid for the team, not you know what the card is that came out of the thing. Well, no, it's, I mean, it, it, yeah. see, here's the thing, like, it, it, I can do international without eBay Global Ship. The only problem is that, like, sometimes international shipping is, like, a little sketchy. So, like, if I send it without Global Ship and mail it to you just, like, how your know, USPS international what you know whatever it is to get to you and for some reason it doesn't get to you like then that's then that's on me and I get crushed for it if I send it through the global ship and I give it to eBay once eBay has it eBay has accepted that it is taken care of on my side so, like, if it doesn't get to you, then eBay takes the hit for it, not me. 
so it's it's uh, you know it's hard. It's no, I mean, see, I don't, I mean, I don't like it either way because I don't, I don't like that you know that you're gonna get you're gonna have to pay forty two dollars for something that may or may not come out. But at the same time, like I, you know, I don't want to have to ship something that's gonna take. You know, a month to get to you, and maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I and, I and I can't track it once it leaves the United States. It's not. It's not. There's not a good way around it. There's just not a good way around it. And I mean, it's a real pain. You know, like I mean, because we we've been trying to do more like hockey stuff, which you know, there's like a bigger Canadian market for that, and it's the same thing. You know, like we we I can I can send first class to Canada for for five bucks. Global ship to Canada, it's you know a thirty dollar charge. Like I don't, no, they do, Stefan, they do not, and I and I don't like that they don't. Like I want it to be easier for everybody. I don't know. I mean, I may just look into just hoping for the best and just sending it myself, USPS, and just praying that, that praying that it gets there and you pay me six dollars or whatever it, you know whatever it would be to get it to you, and just hope that it happens. I don't know. I will see. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it depends on it depends on what on on how much the how much you paid for it. I mean, if you bought a team and you paid a thousand dollars for the team, let's say, I mean, just, I mean, I mean, something insane. You know, you paid a thousand dollars for the team, and you got no cards out of it, or you got one base card. You you pay four hundred dollars probably to send. To Canada because it's it's based on like value tax. Whereas like if I if 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 I send it directly, I look at the cards, I look at the value, and if it's if you got ten dollars worth of cards, then I put on the you know on the import thing that it's ten dollars worth of cards, and that's that's. And that's what you pay when it when it gets to you. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get it we'll get it sorted out nice. I don't know. All right, this is the last one tonight. My bed is calling me. fan that I currently have attached or sitting beside my bed on the full full blast. And uh, sleep with a vengeance. But you know, I, I will you know after this, Stefan, I will have a serious conversation with my with my partner about what about us changing our international shipping system? And we're open. My God, that was uh, rough. Okay. All right. Drink water. All right. Let's do this.
Okay. All right, we got a uh, Brooke Lopez Shimmer Shiny. And that's just those uh, particular variations. Champ is here, Shimmy Shiny. Chris Dunn, Shimmery. Yeah, these are actually all the same because they're all getting sleeved and top loaded, so it doesn't matter. The Bam Rookie, down to Murray, purple to 155. No, it's the same. I mean, it's the exact same set, except these are uh, fast break exclusives, like these like bubbly cards. Not all numbered, but uh, they are some exclusive. I mean, they are exclusive, just some some numbered. Covington uh, Shimmy. The retros are nice. Like I like I like those in all sets. You know, like there's something that's just uh, that I like about them. Uh, Harrison Barnes, purple. Oh, it's a it's a redemption. Well, the Zizek to one ninety three. Who is it? It is Donovan Mitchell. Nice card. Fast break signatures. Nice card for John Donovan Mitchell. Oh, that, that's you, Stefan. Well, congratulations. It's a 193 uh, wide side. Good card. That's not. I mean, it's not an easy pull when I mean, when you're when you're talking about one autograph a box. You know. Uh, Brogdon to 155, purple. Ingram, Shimmery. Gasol, Shimmery. You know, it's funny. We just we've got a uh, a customer now that it was actually left yesterday, going from Australia to the United States, and we shipped a bunch of his stuff instead of sending it to Australia, sent it to a friend that he has in the United States, and he's going to pick it up from the friend and then haul it back in his luggage to to Australia. Jarrett Allen Nets fast break autograph. I haven't wrapped eighty five. If I'd known, I could have sent your stuff to that guy. Had that guy give it to the Australian guy, then when that guy got back to Australia, giving it to you. Yeah, I mean, because everybody in Australia 
knows everybody else in Australia, right? I mean, it's a, it's a tiny country. Do you, do you want to know who my favorite Australian person is? Uh, a me new to 155. Dr. Chris Brown, pet vet. He has a, a show on uh, Sunday mornings here called Dr. Chris Pet Vet. And uh, my wife and I watch it uh, near religiously. I think he's actually stopping the show. He is from Bondi, yes. His uh, his clinic is uh, the Bondi Animal Clinic. Yes, I we I mean I legit love love the show. It, it's it's just great. He's su I mean he's super entertaining. He's always got some cool stuff. I know he does. He was. I mean, does like like talk shows and stuff. You know, stuff there. But I, I, I like the show. I mean, I, I, we legit watch it like every every weekend. Uh, Dotson uh, to one ninety three. We got a Josh Hart fast break signatures for the Lakers. Rated rookie. Cy Cam shiny. OG, a uh, deer and fox shimmery. Yeah, I think he's actually stopping the I what like what I read on the internet, like the show is gonna be ending because he's like wants to go back to being a vet instead of a TV celebrity or something, but I think that's probably BS, like he probably wants to do more TV celebrity things. Because he's got another show like uh, where like where they send him to like all over all over the places. Like uh, I don't know, it's like around the globe or something. I don't know. It's, they just, like send him just weird places. Bam, shimmering. Yeah, uh, Winslow Red eighty five. I mean, how could you not like him? How could you not like him? He's a you know a gorgeous man on top of a uh, you know a loving vet and uh, you know apparently clearly skilled like i mean i like bios that i've read like he is like a legitimately good animal doctor like stephen adams uh, at 85 i just don't know what the wife and i will do on sundays in the mornings when uh you know when we can't watch his business oh there is like another lady we had it like it's it it doesn't it, it doesn't run anymore. It ran for like a two seasons here in the United States, like seven or eight years ago. But it was it what it ended up not being not being popular. But I know that he was like the host of of your guys' version of it. Jonathan Isaac shimmering. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't take off here cuz I mean people love seeing celebrities in, you know, in terrible situations. Uh Ast Astros Rockets There's another lady that's on the show that uh that is uh, I forget her name, but she runs like the 
like a small animal clinic there that uh, the wife is very is also very fond of. Little blonde lady, uh, heel to one ninety nine or one ninety three. James Johnson shimmery. Bradley, I can't. Yeah, I don't. It, I don't know. It just didn't. I, I mean, I remember watching it a couple of times, but it just didn't. It didn't catch on. DJ Wilson. I mean, we got that, that stupid uh, Survivor show that's on. That's been on for you know twenty eight years. Uh, Rab to uh, fifty. I just I, I I I like I mean I love animals like I got I got cats and had dogs so I mean you know you you give me a show with a good looking man and uh, you know and animals I'm gonna I'm gonna be all over it Isaiah Thomas Shimmery Thornwell Shimmery. Fish Swishful Thinking Shimmery for Curry. Yeah, there's even there's another guy that runs like a it's I don't it, it, It's like another zoo kind of thing, but it's more like reptiles. He's, he's almost like a fake Steve Irwin kind of. I mean, he's not trying to be a fake Steve Irwin, but he has like that Steve Irwin kind of like uh, excitement about all creatures, even as disgusting as some of them are. Uh, Burks to 155. That's on that show sometimes. I like him too. Batum, Shimmery. Vuvicek, Shimmer. <laughs> How could you, man? Bradley Beal, orange to one ninety three. Uh, Macklemore, shimmers. Marketing rookie. Mm, it looks like Lakers colors. It kind of looks like Lakers colors for an autograph. Could it be? Could it be somebody uber fancy? Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's 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 hope. Let's hope. Jamal Wilkes, old school Laker. It is a Laker, but it's not one of the hot, hot rookies that uh, we were looking for. Stanley Johnson, Purple Shimmer. Nah, I had hopes. Well, I think we're going to end up with the absolute best card out of this being that uh, Donovan Mitchell, like without a question. So, autograph recap. We got a Jamal uh, Wilkes for the Lakers. A uh, Rockets, Chinese man. Josh Hart for the Lakers. A Jared Allen for the Nets. And the Donovan Mitchell which is the uh, sweet, sweet hotness. So thank you, everybody. I'll get this right out to you.